what's up y'all it's peaches welcome back to nails by pretty face okay so today i am going to talk to you guys about how i get long lasting sets how i have a high retention rate okay my nails last four plus weeks when i do fills after um four weeks that fill will take them through another four weeks and they can get another fill so basically you're talking about an original set with fills that can last up to 12 weeks okay and that ain't no joke you can follow my instagram i literally update 24 7 on my instagram on my story on my page everything like that if you want to see what's really going on okay so the first step in achieving a long lasting set is to push all the skin away in the cuticle area off the nail plate if you don't do this and let's say you don't do this and you're not doing a very good job sanding the um nail plate in the next step you're basically putting acrylic over this skin although you can't really see it if you don't push it up once you do push it you see how you can see it now so just keep that in mind don't be too rough okay because you can actually hurt the client if the skin is stubborn okay so nextly is still with prep i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to take my time and i'm going to gently file the natural nail to remove the shine so my um e-file is on the lowest setting this one is a i think it's a mccart e-file i got this so long ago like two years ago so it's on as low as it can go and you see how i keep the file moving i'm going side to side i'm going to different areas of the nail so that way they really don't feel anything to be honest with you i don't cause any ridges i don't cause any any sort of damage doing this as you can see i am doing my due diligence to be gentle okay so now do you see how i'm getting in all the corners i'm getting in the cuticle area i'm just i'm really getting in there and making sure the whole surface has this sandy white appearance because that is a very very big tip okay you will know that your nails are prepped enough once all of the nail is a sandy white appearance like this as you can see the nail that i'm going on see how shiny it is we do not want that if you are sanding the nail and you do it so quick that you can still see shiny parts through baby go back and hit it again okay because that means you did not do it enough you did it too quickly you need to get really all in those nooks and crannies you see like how i'm doing right here because if there's any extra skin there uh, from the cuticle or if there's any shine those are areas where you are more prone to get lifting especially if you're a beginner the lifting starts there okay so um these steps right here that that is like your foundation for getting a long lasting step and then after this you will prime okay right here you see this i like to use young nails i do two coats of primer or protein bond basically and that's what the instructions say to do i've been using this for like two years pretty much um i got put onto it when i was working into a shop a couple years ago and i stuck with it because you know I felt like it was helping me now honestly at this point i feel like my prep is so good that it doesn't matter what primer i use or none of that to be honest um i just like young nails so i stick with it so yes this part right here is crucial if you skip any of these steps or if you don't do them enough then that's already like uh jeopardizing your retention and your longevity okay so i am going to include um clips of application i have a full application video on my channel already so you can go ahead and take a look at that but i just want to show you um application wise there are some important steps into getting better retention and stuff as well and i am going to zoom in because you need to be able to really really get into the cuticle area okay so you can see okay i'm laying my first bead whatever whatever but you need a nice and neat application at the cuticle area because if it is messy if your cuticles are flooded if it's too lumpy if the apex is too big all that right there it absolutely makes a difference in your retention because if your structure is not according to whatever nail tips you're using whatever i use regular standard nail tips if i don't have the right size apex they're gonna snap if i have too big of an apex then that enhances i mean increases the chance of lifting because the bulkier they are at the cuticle area 
the bigger the risk for lifting as well. A lot of people don't know that. Okay, so right here you can see, I think I'm about to put a cuticle bead, let's see. Also, if you guys want a video on using dark colors or tricky colors without making too much of a mess, let me know, because it does take practice to be using these type of wild ass colors without getting them all everywhere, you know? So just let me know. So you can see how I'm going into the cuticle area, I'm tapping it in, I'm making sure the cuticle area is covered, okay, but not blooded, you see that? You see how close I'm getting, but it's not blooding? That right there, that right there, that right there is the key to long lasting sets because if your cuticle areas is not giving what it's supposed to give, baby, you could just forget about it, okay? And I feel like this with prep is some of the main causes of why people are be so confused about why their sets don't last, okay? So you really have to just tuck it in there but don't flood. You don't want flooded cuticles. You want them nice and tucked and neat. So that way, as the nails grow out, it's going to grow out in a really nice uniform half circle. You know, the, the shape of the cuticles is going to grow out really, really nice. And it's not going to be growing out lumpy and, and raggedy and jagged. Okay. So, uh, I think I may show you guys on one other nail again. I do have a whole video on application. I do also have a shaping video on how to get a really good square shape if anybody's interested. Um, in a coffin video, let me know and I will go ahead and do that as well, okay? So, once again, we are applying a bead. You can see, la da 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 da, okay, here we go, here we go. And once we get into that cuticle area, we want cuticles that are nice and tucked nice and neat but not flooded okay once again cuticles that are flooded means that either it's it, no it doesn't mean either it literally means that it's very watery around the cuticles you can see the cuticle beads flowing outside of where the nail bed should actually be so do you see how on the sides i'm constantly making sure it's staying within the boundaries of the nail bed and the cuticles that's what you want to be doing okay because if not you could forget about it just really forget about it like it ain't gonna work okay so I'm just showing you guys to take your time like um, yeah so bam here we go work with the size beads that you can manage honestly I can knock out a basic set in like an hour 15 to an hour and a half at this point um, so don't for me personally, this, this process is going to look easier than what it is. But trust me, it was not always like this for me. So I'm not saying that to brag or anything like that. I'm just saying that in a sense to like keep practicing and keep using beads that you can manage. And eventually you will be able to just automatically pick up a bead like how I did here. And you'll know exactly what type of bead fits what type of people fits what type of whatever. Okay, so like I said, I'm in no way am I saying that to brag. I'm just saying don't be caught up in trying to you know rush or or do too much or get caught up in how many beads you should use use what you can manage and stay on top of that and that will help you get the cuticle areas together okay so now this right here okay this is another crucial step so i apologize for the lighting you guys um it was really crazy and out of whack at this part but i'm just trying to like close up show you that sealing the cuticles this is another problem okay when i'm in facebook groups and i'm just looking and browsing at people's conversations on facebook and stuff like posts wise or whatever a lot of people will be like oh well i prepped i did this i did that but sometimes you could do all of this previous steps i mentioned but if you do not seal the cuticles like this well you don't have to be going under this is my personal thing but like you see how i'm going around the cuticles i'm taking my time if you do this a little too fast and you do not actually reduce any bulk or you do not go around the cuticles to seal them like it's not, it's your water will get underneath moisture will get underneath and that's what causes nails to pop off to lift too soon okay so those are my tips that's how i get longevity and retention in my set i really really hope these helped you guys let me know what else you want to see please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i hope you guys enjoyed the video and you know what we're gonna catch you in the next one i've got acrylic toes coming up so you guys turn on your notifications and i will see you guys soon